there. Today's tutorial is inspired by a project that I'm working on with the team to get a book out to press and this is aimed at a guy that I'm working with so that we can get some files put together so that when he sends them to me I don't have to worry about reworking those documents. To open up one of the files that was sent to me previously you'll notice that we'll have a couple of links here that are broken and rather than me having to go in and relink all of the fonts you'll see here that you've got some highlighted text that needs to be relinked to whatever the uh, font was that was used. Uh, I was already told and he already sent fonts that were missing and uh, rather than have to go through that whole process I'm actually going to show you and him how to put this together in a format that makes it easy to not have to go through that whole mess uh, and s basically waste time and what we're going to do is actually create a new book click on that name it save it wherever you want to on your computer and you'll get this little window here that, that comes up there won't be anything in it I've docked it here to the side and uh, you'll want to start adding all of your files uh, so you've got add and remove here with the plus and net minus sign you can also add by clicking here via this menu now I've got all my documents it's over 50 and uh, when you see the number page numbers here, uh, the original documents, documents themselves, because they were all separate, they begin with whatever number you have set. I, uh, I have mine set at two. And uh, when you want to change a page number, the easiest way uh, that I've found so far is going ahead and clicking on the page number. It opens up the document, and you just change the, the, the starting number for the document itself because the previous one ended at 3, I changed the first one to 4, and it goes ahead and numbers the rest of the dot of, uh, document automatically. And you do that for all of them. This one ended at 16, so I started the next one at 17, so on and so forth. I'm going to close that out. Now, once you've got that all fixed, you want to go ahead and click on the first one, shift-click the rest of them so that all of them are selected. And when I had, when you have this open, you'll see update number in here. I tried that, and for some reason, it didn't automatically update them all at once. So that's why I had to go in and manually do things. And while everything's uh, highlighted, I'm able to export to PDF. And depending on the print company that you're working with, they may have certain presets that you have to follow. Uh, the company we're working with does, and they want not only want the PDF, but they also want the package and just for the reason that I explained to you a moment ago and when you click on this it'll go through a, a progress bar and then you'll have a form field that you have to fill out at a certain point and then you click on package and it puts everything together uh, in a nice little bundle and this is mine that I labeled and what it does is wherever your files are all located it actually imports them copies them into this nice uh, neat folder here and it links all your images together, that's what the folder that says links is, it's all your graphics, and then fonts, and then when my guy does this and sends it to me, uh, I'll be able to open up all these documents and I won't have all those uh, pre-flight errors that I have to go in and fix all those broken links. Uh, so I'm going to have, uh, so my, uh, my uh, what I want him to do is do all that and then zip this folder and then he can send it to me so it makes it a lot easier for me and it saves us all time in the long run so that does it for that and if you have any questions people by all means contact me comment uh, below be it my blog or the video on YouTube and I would love for you to like share do all that stuff you know somebody that could use this by all means do so subscribe to my channel uh, subscribe to my blog I would love to be able to interact with you guys so if you have any questions uh, I'd love to create another video tutorial for you or help you out in any way I can take care have a good one